Now let's take a look at a couple of the actual tests that took place on our building in San Diego. First, you see one of the tests that was 150% of the Northridge earthquake of 6.7. Now that equals a 10.05 seismic episode, and that's higher than any recorded in history. After more than 10 tests at this magnitude, the table could not produce any significant damage to the building beyond a couple of cosmetic cracks in the drywall. Please note in the top view of the 1,500-pound steel plates at every unit to simulate live load. This occurred at every floor along with a fully loaded water heater range, a complete fully loaded building. Second, they loaded the second and sixth floor with accelerants and burned the building, which in itself was not easy being that there's nothing combustible in the building, hence the accelerants. Third, after continued burning in an attempt to weaken the structure and destroy the drywall and dense glass and sureboard system, they again shook the building to the maximum. Only then, after the burning and after the breakdown of the drywall and dense glass, did the building show any true damage, but only at the second floor where the burn took place. However, the building stayed intact. It didn't collapse. It didn't lose its shape. The fully loaded building still maintained its structural integrity, which would have allowed anyone in the building to survive and walk away from the incident. Here you see the building after burning and after several more attempts to destroy it through additional shaking, and the building is intact. As a matter of fact, the SWS Panel and Trust crew had to come in and disassemble the building to bring it down. 